okay so hello guys in this video we will be talking about we'll discuss m script okay so the requirement that we had have at hand is it's very basic requirement we'll start with this uh, we, on the cloud page we need to build an HTML form okay using which we will collect the data from the customers that data would include the first name of the customer the last name the company company of the customer email address of the customer we will collect this data okay now first name and last name we will concate these two values and print and display the full name on the same cloud page okay and we will collect all these values and we will create a lead in Salesforce CRM okay once again uh, you you will be able to create lead in Salesforce CRM only when both accounts are integrated you know Salesforce CRM and marketing cloud okay so that's the requirement that we have in hand at this point okay if you see my screen so that's how it is build an HTML form con concate first name and last name and display full name create lead in Salesforce CRM okay so in this uh, requirement we will be using 3m script function okay we will practice 3m script function first one would be request parameter using this function we would get the values from the query parameters you know from the yeah, query parameters that means from the URL okay we will post uh, the input you know values from the input boxes from the form to the same cloud page and we will get those values using request parameter we will use this function create salesforce object to create lead in salesforce crm we will use con on pad function to concate first name and last name to you know to make the full name okay i have already worked on this and uh, this is the code that we have i'll explain it now okay so this is the fo form first you know basic skeleton of the form which includes okay so the method would be post we would be posting data from all these input values to this same cloud page okay so method would be post action would be request parameter page URL that means we are providing the URL of this same you know cloud page first name we collect first name input type is text okay name is first name then we collect last name using this field name is last name we connect company name of the company we collect email address okay now we have one hidden field here okay this field will be used when we would you know write the script code and right right here we have the submit button cool I think it's very basic very easy okay so after this okay so as soon as you will hit the submit okay this M script would you know resolve I would say so uh, it says if request parameter is submitted equals to true that means it will fetch the request parameter submitted from the you know from the string query string and if its value is true then it will process the next steps which is create lead create a variable lead and create Salesforce object using this function M script function we will create a Salesforce object lead lead object okay and for right here is, is this in the syntax of this function we define the numeric value of how many fields how many input values are we providing for this particular object so right now we are providing first name last name company email that's why it's four if uh, I were just providing three values then it would have been three cool now here I create another valuable F name okay I request you know I get the parameter value of the first name from the query parameters I get the value of last name from the query parameters I have two variables F name L name I create another variable full name and concate both first name last name within a space in between so now I have the first name and last name sorry full name cool. now right here I display the full name and lead ID which has been created in the Salesforce CRM okay so if not if not empty create lead that means if this variable create lead is not empty that means if it has been resolved and the 
lead has been created lead object has been created then then it displays the full name the full name is okay it should be before right the full name is sorry the full name is m percent m percent equals to v full name okay we have the variable and lead record at the rate lead record has been created in lead object okay you know let's see if if it actually works So we have the form here. I'll just include the first name. Okay. Common company, let's say Salesforce. Okay. Email address, let's say 66. Okay. Now I'll submit it. Okay. The full name is Aman Batra. And lead record has been created in Salesforce in lead object. So yeah, the, it was the system was the able to perform the concat function that we used, and it was able to get the parameters okay, which we posted to the same URL. Okay, from the post, we posted these value of this input fields to this same to URL of this same cloud page. Okay, using this request parameter function, we fetch those values because we posted it to the same URL we fetch those values we fetch the value of first name last name company email then here we define that's the syntax of the create Salesforce object I'll provide a link to the documentation in the comments okay first name last name email okay so I think it's very basic if you have any questions on this let me know in comments I'll be creating one more values oh, sorry one more video on you know I script uh, tutorial where we will dig deeper into this we'll use even more functions okay thank you guys have a good day bye bye